I'm here in Medjugorje, and I'm with, what's your name? Aero Osborne. I have to, Aero, A-R-R-O-W, that's my legal name, I'm Cherokee Indian. I have to, people call me Aaron or Earl, it's Aero, or Strela in uh, Croatian, or Fletcher in Spanish. Uh -huh. And um, you come often to Medjugorje? I come here two to three times a year. I lead groups here. You bring groups here? I lead uh, groups here. Why do you come back all the time? Why do you bring groups? I can answer that really, really quickly. The presence of Our Lady is overwhelming here. Mm -hmm. The first time I came here, I'm 5,000 miles away from home. I don't speak the language. Mm -hmm. I did not want to get on the bus to leave. Why? I, I the, the 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 presence and the beauty and the the love and peace of the tranquility of this beautiful little village and it's all because of Our Lady's uh, presence here. She's she's with us no matter where we go. But there's a special blessing she bestows upon those who come here. I'm I, I'm convinced. Mm -hmm. I'm convinced. Did you get special blessings here as well? I have. What happened? Uh, just uh, a, a deeper, a deeper spiritual conversion. Mm -hmm. um, for the last eight years, I bring back about two to three thousand rosaries. Mm -hmm. Bless, I take them all to Blue Cross and I touch them up against Our Lady. Uh, I've brought back probably in the, about between twelve and thirteen thousand rosaries in the last eight years. For the rosaries are now weeping oil. Mm -hmm. wow. Why? Because they come with a special anointing from the Mother of God. You, you know, you can't make this up. If somebody doesn't want to believe it, but people who, who, who rosaries are not weeping, mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I don't have to say nothing else. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. And um, when you heard the first time about Medjugorje, what did you think at the time? Well, I, I don't like to read, ironically. And I was a police officer mm -hmm. in Toledo, Ohio, and I had to work the desk one day. We had to rotate. Instead of working the street, we had to work the desk. And my... Uh, uh, somebody gave me a book on Medjugorje, Wayne Weibel, mm -hmm. and I read it twice. And I don't like to read, <laughs> and so and, I and so when I retired, I, I go, you know, I, I keep hearing, I gotta go. Wow. And so now, now I uh, I bring people here. That's what Our Lady wants now. Yeah, I'm sorry. A lot of people say that. That's what Our Lady wants. It's now it's it's. Bring people, bring more. You know, does it pay cash? Does it pay anything? No, it don't. We, I'll get my reward when I sit in the judgment seat of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he looks at me and he smiles and he says, my child, you did the will of my mother. You know, welcome home. Absolutely. So and that's what, it, that's, that, that's what it's about. Okay. That's what it's about. That's what it's about, absolutely. And um, you pray the rosary? <laughs> yeah. What? 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 I, I pray the rosary every day. Why? Because when I when I hold a rosary in my hand, I know I know the Blessed Mother is holding my hand. When I when you say a rosary, you are reliving the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You're reliving and, and and Our Lady, our her her life. So when you when you pray the rosary, um, think, some people tell me, well, it's hard for me to concentrate on the mystery when I say the Our Father or Hail Mary. So think about this. Think of the Our Father and Hail Mary as background music. Mm -hmm. When you're concentrating on on, on the mystery, mm -hmm. all right, and uh, that works. I'm saying the Hail Mary, but I'm like like Jesus baptized in the Jordan River by John the Baptist. I actually envision our Lord walking into the River Jordan. I actually envision that, and I'm standing on the bank watching this beautiful event unfold. And then you go on to the next mystery. Wow, beautiful how you say it. And um, you know, confession is very important here. Yes, yes it is. And how, can you explain the beauty of confession and why people are not having to be scared to go to confession? Well, um, there's nothing to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. There's one, you know, we ask, I, I give talks in our Blessed Mother, I, I, I gave a talk in the Netherlands and I came mm -hmm. here. So we're, we're going to call, we all call upon our Blessed Mother mm -hmm. to flee to her son, to go to her son for our prayer intentions. Mm -hmm. There's one thing our Lord Jesus Christ wants from us, one thing, mm -hmm. and that's your sins. Exactly. Well, you know, he's going to, okay, my child, I, treasure for him to yeah, I, my child, my mother's coming to me with your prayer intentions, but what are you going to give me? Mm -hmm. okay. I want you, we are to be, we are to be in a constant state of grace. It's recommended we go to rec confession once a month. I got to go once a week. I have to go once a week. Mm -hmm. A thought of irritability or a, a thought of something that's not good or just um, irritability, anything. I'm not in a state of grace. I, 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 um, 
Our Lady has said in past messages, I don't know, I don't think it was from here, Our Lady said, many come to receive my son and they're not worthy, meaning mm -hmm. they're not in a state of grace. And be very careful about that, you know, you want to be clean when you come to the Master of the Universe. Oh, oh absolutely, absolutely. Connect, not to make you fear, but to properly connect to him, to receive him. Correct. So that you can receive from his, his graces, his right. inspirations. In right, God, no? right, right. And uh, you, you, when I when I receive my Lord in Holy Communion, I I'm not worthy to touch him. Mm -hmm. I got to receive him on my tongue. tongue and on knees now. Yeah, well, I've had a double knee replacement. See that that's another yeah. thing. That's another you know thing. what? You would think you would think with all the work that I'm doing mm -hmm. in the last 12 years, bringing people here, I've been really picking it up the last eight. You would think that my knees would have been healed. I came here, mm -hmm. well, you know, praying for my knees would be healed. It wasn't meant to be. Mm -hmm. That does not mean the prayer is not being heard. Right. Our Lord put me through this. Mm -hmm. That You know, suffering is a grace. That's another story in and of Tend itself. Death. That's an, but suffering is a grace. I went through, I almost died in November on the, my last knee replacement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the two doctors said he, I almost died mm -hmm. when I came out of the surgery. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's fine. And so my, another doctor, my regular doctor said, do you want to see a psychologist? Mm -hmm. And I said, why? And she said, you, you almost died. You, were, you told you almost died. And I said, I don't need a psychologist. And she goes, you almost died. I said, you're the third doctor who's told me I almost died. I get it. I'm too busy with my ministry to worry about death. If it happens, it happens. Mm -hmm. So- um, You just have to be prepared in peace, in love. Correct, right, right, right. That's right. what you want. You don't want to leave this world in a state where you're angry, like my brother, he was fighting with his wife and he had a dream at night. And in that dream, he was far away from the light, from love. He said that was the most painful thing yeah. because he couldn't touch God, love. Yeah. He was yeah. in the darkness. And right. He, you don't want to leave this world like this. I know somebody's listening and he should listen to this. Go to confession. No? Go to confession. And then you know, pour your heart out. Yeah. Pour your heart out. You know, the, the priest is not, the, he is not going to go meet with another priest and he's going to say, you're not going to believe what I heard. Mm -hmm. He's not, they're not going to do it. You want to put it, you want to put the biggest smile on, on, the, on the face of our Lord Jesus Christ. Be obedient to his mother and go to him and confess your sins. We're going to run to him. Somebody listening to this, you're going to flee to the mother of God for somebody, a, a sick family member or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And she will go to her son. And there's one thing our Lord wants from us in return, mm -hmm. to be in a constant state of grace with him. Amen. So beautiful. Did you make uh, as well the experience what Our Lady wants here, that we surrender to God's will? That we learn to surrender? We, we lender. We, we're, we lender we, it's not our will, it's His will. I say that every day. Mm -hmm. I say that every single day. Okay. May I, when, um, when I get up in the morning, mm -hmm. I'm on my knees and I look at a crucifix on the wall in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. And I, I look at the crucifix and I, and I say, take me to him or bring him to me to do your will. Take me to him or bring him to me to do your will. Mm -hmm. I've been saying that for years and so... You um, see life change, that life got yeah. smoother, you're more at peace, more enjoyed. Right. And, and, then, and then I found, uh, I started to learn, bring people here and give talks on Our, our, on our Lady in, in America, now the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And and so you you got to sit back and smile because for years I would pray, take me to them or bring them to me. Mm -hmm. To do your will, take me to them, go out and give them talks. And so it's actually unfolding. Mm -hmm. But I when I prayed that every morning for years, I prayed that from the heart. From the heart, that's important. Yeah. From the heart. Mm -hmm. you, you, you can't go through the motions. Mm -hmm. You have to truly believe. And our Lord and our Lady, you know, they're watching this, this, mm -hmm. this interview. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, you, they're truly with us. When you think, when you think you're utterly alone, mm -hmm. it's just you in the room and a crucifix, you're looking at it. Our Lord and our Lady in the heavenly court, they're there with you. Yeah. Right. They are there with you. Just open your heart and start communicate like with a friend just talk to jesus talk, like talk a friend. To, yeah. that's what he says and you're not my slaves you're my friends now right just talk and tell him all the what's on your heart you are, what's on your heart and be patient right god fights right he says god says be still i fight for you people come here to medjugorje some are healed others are not mm -hmm. okay we just don't know why mm -hmm. but it's our lord's plan yeah. It's not our. It's not our. Our will. It says, "Well, look at my knees." You know, I thought. You know, people were praying for me when I came here two or three years ago, praying for healing on my knees, mm -hmm. and it wasn't meant to be. Mm -hmm. I didn't say. I at no point did I say, 
I'm my lady, I'm doing this for you, and why aren't you hearing me about my knees? Because it just it was it was it was not meant to be. And but I think people have to make experience. I think you made these experiences by God the Father is not an angry old man with a white beard who wants to judge us and put us to hell. Yeah. God is good, no? Yes. Can you describe God the Father for the people who are watching? Well, he, our our Lord does not send, He does not send us to hell. Mm -hmm. We send ourselves there, ba based our based on our behavior. God, God the Father is you, you can't measure His love. If you you there's you can't fathom the depth of His love. Um, I, I I understand the question. You just you can't measure it's it, nobody. I don't know of anybody down here, probably Pope John Paul II or St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta, they had that in-depth that love that pulsated from them, from their life. Um, that's what our God, that's the heart that God the Father has for us. He's, you know, divine, divine mercy. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's, lo it, yeah. he's, 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 uh, he wants to pour out his mercy on us, but we have to seek him out to get it. We have to repent, we have to turn back, and then things will happen. No? Right. That's the right. process, not like just keep on going. Right, right. And, um, and when you make this experience of this loving Father, then you will trust more, no? Yeah. When you make this experience yep. as well, no? And tell about your life story, about what happened in your life. Well, I'm, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a retired police officer with the city of Toledo. Mm -hmm. Toledo is a major city. Mm -hmm. It's an extremely high crime rate. Um, I went through a lot in my career. Um, I've seen a lot of death, mm -hmm. and um, it's it's people. I, I've met a lot of people who live for this world. I mean, their their God is the dollar. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, they live to make the dollar. But what they don't have to understand is, I've been out to as a police officer. I'll go out to a, a home. Or the neighbors are concerned, you know, they're, they're, my neighbors, they're not answering their door, I haven't seen them, so I'll go out to the house and they'll say, the car's there, they're not picking up the mail, so I'll kick down the door. I, I have the legal right to kick down the door. And I'll, I found people laying in their bed in the bathtub, sitting up, they're deceased. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're in their 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, mm -hmm. and they're deceased. It, it, it awaits us all. You got to get off of this mentality that you're going to live forever. What you got to get, what you got to get focused and stay focused on, is Christ. Is right here. This is it. This is it. I I, I got this at Sir Mancy at the Divine Mercy Chapel about two hours ago, yeah. and uh, I've had my eye on him for the last two three years. But I, I've always been caution on getting him back the weight the weight and the luggage get back but i'll make it work but uh, i took this beautiful crucifix of our lord and i was allowed to touch it up against the icon at mm -hmm. sir that was allowed to touch this up against the icon mm -hmm. and i'm now carrying him around and, and everybody in my group are, is watching me carrying him like this and i'll say he's mine he's in love <laughs> yeah you're in love i see the only oh, no, thing you do what you're doing when you're in love is christ huh? it, it's it's holding him i i'm telling you it, it, it's it's overwhelming sense of peace holding him right now. Mm -hmm. And you saw a lot of miracles in your personal life. I have, I, I have. I've seen people get you know, i.e. the the rosaries I bring back. Mm -hmm. um, I gave one to a woman four years ago, and we're seeing the rosary. And it was a rosary I gave her from here, and it started oozing oil. There was probably thirty of us who witnessed it, mm -hmm. and we you, we it was you can't make it up. We all witnessed it, and so she was taking the oil that was oozing off the rosary on her hand, and she was going around and wiping it on us. Mm -hmm. And the smell of roses was filling up the room. Wow, that's a sign that Our Lady is there. And so three other rosaries are doing the same. That who knows of the of the you know, uh, 10 or 12,000 rosaries that I've brought back over the years. Oh, and I, I just send them out to people. Mm -hmm. And I, I've sent them to Europe and Canada. Who knows what's happening with those I'll, that I'll never hear about the stories. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. And um, your favorite spot in Medjugorje? I'm sorry? Your favorite place in Medjugorje? Oh, um, 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 uh, Dracica Marinko. It's now um, run by Enos and Dado right down the street here. Mm -hmm. And that's my favorite place. It's a four minute walk to Blue Cross. Mm -hmm. You know, um, when, I, when I bring pilgrims here and they've never been here before, when I bring pilgrims here and they've never been here before, I, I haven't put their luggage 
in the room. I have them put their luggage in the room. They have dinner, and then I walk them to Blue Cross. And I say, let's go say hello to our Blessed Mother in a special way. Before you do anything else, mm -hmm. but you're not going to go and start shopping. Mm -hmm. You put your luggage in your room. That you know, Anus and Dad will have dinner. Then we're going to go take a walk at Blue Cross. And if they've never been here before, I, I walk them to Blue Cross, tell them the story briefly, mm -hmm. and because I have a guide, Julie's my guide, and I stand back mm -hmm. and I watch them go up. And they've heard about Blue Cross. Mm -hmm. They've heard about the special spot. And I watch them go up, and they'll take their hand, place it on Our Lady's uh, uh, statue. Mm -hmm. And you just stand back and watch a joy on their face. Mm -hmm. You know what? That's what makes it all put, you know, putting it together is all worth it. Yeah. The logistics and the flights and the it's transportation. Fun, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of work, months in part. But you know what? When they get at the Blue Cross and they're crying, they're on their knees, mission accomplished. Because I've got them here, my lady. I brought them here. Mm -hmm. Now they're yours. Mm -hmm. How beautiful. You know? You know, I got, him, I got him here, okay, now can I take a break? <laughs> you know, and they, they're years, they're so years. Beautiful. So what would you tell people that they might come to make life? Why, if you want to, if you want to uh, feel Our Lady in a very special way, mm -hmm. come here, mm -hmm. come here. I've known people who've came here out of curiosity, I have, mm -hmm. and they leave here converted. Or the the leaf here, you know, I can feel her presence. I get that all the time. Oh, I mean, all the time. Yeah, because she's here, no? She's here, man. Yeah. She's here. Oh wow, well, this is just uh, uh, this is it, it's. You got to get off this mentality. One day we're all going to stop breathing. Mm -hmm. My question to you, and a priest told me this one time mm -hmm. at, at a homily years ago. Mm -hmm. He said he was a vi very quiet natured priest, and he said this. He goes with his finger. He goes, everybody in this church is going to is going to stop breathing one day. He goes, my question to you is, what are you doing to get ready for it? That's the. That's and then the, and he walked off the altar. And 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 I'm thinking, amen, brother. Yeah. You know, it's that's what it's about. That's what it's all about. Thank you so much for that beautiful interview. Sir. God bless you guys. All right.